So, it seems there were some complaints about my driving in the most recent career mode video around Abu Dhabi. Apparently, you guys didn't like it when I pulled over for taking out Kimi Raikkonen because apparently I was being too nice. So, I've taken upon your constructive criticism and I'm going to apply that to the rest of the championship and from now on, I'm going to vow to be a little bit more aggressive and since we're in America, I'm going to take some inspiration from our NASCAR compatriots and I'm going to uh, apply that to my own driving. So here we are ready for the start of the American Grand Prix and away we go from this beautiful cinematic view. We managed to qualify down the order just a little bit so we'll need to make up those positions early on in this first corner. So coming up to turn one and... Shit. <laughs> Alright, so this time we're actually here for the proper US Grand Prix and we've qualified in 6th place on the prime tyres for the penultimate race. Here we go. Wish me luck. So here we are then. Round 18, the second last round of the championship. It's all on the line here. I'm, I'm going for a risky strategy, trying to get these crap tires out of the way at the start. And away we go here in USA. Looks like we've got off to a decent start. We're going to maintain sixth place, I believe it is. So no harm lost there. We're going to try and go around the outside coming into turn one. But Al Alonso blocks our run through there. He uh, really killed our momentum. We probably would have jumped him and Weber. But uh, either way, Alonso gets a poor run out of turn one. And Hamilton breaking early as well. So luckily we weren't stuck behind him. Otherwise, we probably would have lost our front wing there. So uh, there we go. We've moved up from sixth to fourth in the opening uh, couple of corners. And now we're trying to focus on getting past Mark Webber and Nico Rosberg, who are in third and fourth place. Oh, no, second and third place, respectively. And uh, Sebastian Vettel is in first place. So... Uh, we need to get to him if we want to minimize the damage uh, uh, in terms of points loss in this race. So that's what I'll be trying to do. I'm trying to be as aggressive as possible on the opening couple of laps because I know these prime tires are going to be pretty terrible at the early phases of this race. The hard compound tire, they take a while to, to really phase in and the option tires just give you speed from the output. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get up the inside of Rosberg. We do so. I'm just trying to get these positions out of the way so I can catch Vettel and now we've finally done that on lap 15. It, it seems that finally the option tires are falling away as they've done 15 laps on them already. So the option tires are actually holding out fairly well at this stage you'd have to say because throughout most of the championship the option tires really only last about 10 maybe 12 laps around most circuits but here in America they're getting 15 laps out of them so far and we got the inside of Vettel there and we should have DRS as well because we crossed the uh, the, the DRS detection, detection uh, point before we passed Vettel so we get that position and it looks like We've got position one for the taking. So now I'm going to save fuel because I did uh, burn a lot of fuel to stay with Vettel uh, despite being on the slower tyre. So I'm at a bit of a disadvantage at this stage. So that's what I've got to do. Now I'm in the lead. As you can see here, I'm lapping a caterham there and I cut it really close there. Uh, one of them was pinched on the apex and I almost turned in in front of them. But now, lap 16, it seems like Vettel has caught up to the back of me again as my tyres are starting to fade away a little bit. I got caught on the marbles. And that really uh, hurt my run through the first sector. And now Vettel is trying to go around the outside. I think he's going to have DRS on this straight because he was behind me before the activation line. And uh, we're going to put it up into fast just to defend from Vettel. And yes, he does have the DRS. I'm just trying to stick in the slipstream. And it doesn't seem to be providing any kind of advantage. We're still maintaining ground at this stage, but we sneak it up the inside of Vettel. He doesn't really fight us too hard. And he concedes position one once again. And now Vettel has actually pitted on the previous lap, so that releases Hamilton, who is right behind us in this battle. He goes around my outside, coming into this uh, third sector now, is it? Either way, he goes around the outside. He tries to leave some room, but it doesn't work out. He uh, ends up forcing himself out wide. So I'm now responding to the AI pitting a couple of laps ago. I was scheduled to come in on 22, but I thought, oh, I don't want to lose any more time than what I have so already. So I'm going to go for a bit of an undercut. I'll try and stretch out these option tires 
as far as I can. I'm trying to go for a two-stop race. Yeah, two stops. I think if I can do the same amount of laps that the AI did on their option tyres, I should be able to do two stops in this race. So, fingers crossed we can do that. And rejoining on the track, it looks like Vettel has already jumped us, and I think Hamilton will as well. Yeah, there he goes. Vettel sets the fastest lap of the race as well, just to rub it in. So, we drop down into third place now, and it looks like there's actually quite an air gap to the cars behind. So, I can really focus on uh, pushing hard to catching the leaders here. So, that's what I'm going to try and do. Burn a little bit more fuel, even though I'm still down on minus one. I really want to get that track position back, because then after that is done, I can save fuel again. And Hamilton there just completely EAs himself out of the race. Trying to leave too much room again, but um, being too gentlemanly there and he's uh, screwed himself over once again and looks like Chilton is getting laps holding up Vettel an absolute treat there so now he's vulnerable to myself and I'm probably gonna pass him on the next DRS straight so it's only gonna be a matter of time as soon as I get that position back I'll be sticking the uh, the engine revs straight back at, down into lean because my fuel situation is looking pretty dire at this stage so we may even di dive it up the inside Vettel has been traditionally a bit slow coming into this corner which has cost him once again, and we get a nice run in, we're going to use quite a bit of curves just to pass him even before the DRS is activated. And yes, it's worked, and uh, we're going to stick it back down into lean just after this. So uh, there we go. We're still minus one on fuel. We still need to save fuel, and that's what I'm doing now as, um, you know, I've really got track position here. But look behind me. You can see Vettel there, still in the race, still right behind me. But watch just a couple seconds later. It seems that he's retired now. And the safety car has now been deployed. So Vettel is now out of this race. That's completely gifted me, or possibly gifted me the championship because now Vettel is going to score no points. If I stay in the position I am now, then Vettel will uh, have to score. Uh, he'll pretty much have to win it. And if I score like two points or three points or four points, something like that, in the final race, then I'll win it. So um, since Vettel is pretty much out of it now, this is uh, almost all but secured me this championship. So I'm going to come in for a new set of tyres. I have to come in. It's pretty much a free pit stop since his safety car period is out. Hamilton actually hasn't stopped yet. So he's going to make maybe two more stops. And he's going to be very vulnerable after this restart. So that's what I'm going to be pretty much trying to do. And it looks like we... Uh, get caught up behind a couple of back market teams so we need to pass those guys if we want to have a shot at Lewis Hamilton in this race all right so we're getting ready for a restart let's win this championship in style let's catch Hamilton and let's win this race please keep working all four tires please keep working all yes, 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 yes. Nice fast slap, you cheating Jehovah. Well, that was easy. Whoa, Lewis Hamilton, what are you doing? You can't just move over on the track on me like that. Nah, nah, I've had enough of this. I'm going to do him right now. Let's get Lewis Hamilton for the lead right now. I'm not going to muck around by wasting any more time sat behind him. I'm going to take this championship. I'm going to take this race by the balls right now. Get up the inside. Get away from me, Lewis Hamilton. I'm taking this race. And it looks like we got the move done fairly well. We weave the wheel in celebration because we know we've got this race in the bag now. We've got the fresh tyres. And now I'm coming in for a new set of option tyres because those set of primes wouldn't have exactly lasted. And look at those tyres. Those are wet tyres that are going on my car. I hope that isn't legit. Oh, thank God. You're lucky, Codemasters, that that tyre wasn't a wet tyre. Otherwise, it would have been marching down to your studios in Birmingham and I would have been lag bubbling everyone with my sponge. But we come out on track. It looks like Lewis might actually jump me because he actually stopped a couple laps ago. And no, he's rejoined behind us. But it looks like we've run wide coming out of turn one and we've conceded another place to Lewis. So we've got to get that place back once again. 
This is so frustrating. I just want to bolt away on my option tyres like Sebastian Vettel would in every other single race he's had in his F1 career. I just want to have a nice, easy race win for once, but it seems it's not possible. We're going to have to wait until we get the DRS on this next straight. I think that's where we're going to have to do it, lads. Possibly even dive it up the inside like we did to Vettel countless times in this race. Here we go up the inside, coming into the hairpin. Lewis leaves the door open, and yes, we've snatched the lead. Could this possibly be the race winning uh, pass for the race win? I don't know, I've said race win too many times. But uh, we get the lead back, we've got the DRS. Now let's hopefully pull away and grab this race win here in America. Yes, it's the final lap. We've got a little bit of a lead over Lewis Hamilton, and now we're catching up to some back marker teams. Looks like John Eric Verne and the two Williams there holding each other up. An absolute treat there, but they all pull out of the way for me like Moses in the Red Sea. And now we've done it, lads. We're coming around the final couple of corners. We're weaving the wheel in celebration because we know the job is almost done. We now do a, a burnout coming out of the final corner because we know we now have one hand on the championship trophy. Yes, there we go lads, we've won here in America and this championship is almost all but done. We took out the race win from Lewis Hamilton and Jensen Button. Sebastian Vettel retires from the race, so too does our teammate Fernando Alonso. So that almost, almost, almost puts us in the box seat for this championship win. We only need to score three points in the final race and we have it lads. We will have glory. That's been the American Grand Prix. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Until the next race in Brazil, the season finale. I'll see you guys next time.